So in the Azure DevOps repository tutorial, we see how to create a repo and add a file and create a branch from the Azure DevOps portal. So in this uh, recording, we are going to see how we can able to clone the repo into your local computer and make changes and commit and push these changes into the remote repo. So for this, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor which run on your desktop and it's been available on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So and apart from this, uh, we need Git to be downloaded and configured. I already download the GitHub and Visual Studio into my local machine and it's been installed. I'll be providing this URL in the description of this video. So now let's open the command prompt and type the git hyphen hyphen version. So it's it's provided. Uh, so it is been git has been not been installed in this machine. So let's go and install the git. So from the downloads, I'm going to install the git into this machine. And I'm going to keep all the basic configuration for right now. Let's click on next and install. So let's wait for the git need to be installed and configured. So all right, so the Git is been successfully installed into the local machine. So now let's open the command prompt M again and type the Git hyphen hyphen version. And you can see the latest version of Git is been installed into this machine. So now let's do a Git configuration. So let's configure the username and email into this machine. So I'm going to configure my Azure DevOps email ID using the Git config global user email. And similarly, I'm going to configure the name. So I'm going to provide the name as test1. And instead of user dot email, I'm going to use going to set this test dot one as the name and click on enter. So now if you go and see the git config hyphen hyphen list, you can see the username and uh, the email is being set. So now let's open our uh, Visual Studio code. and try to clone that repo into our local repo. So in the left side, you can see the source control icon. Click on the source control icon and select the cloned repository. And if you go into our uh, uh, marketing uh, project and into the marketing repository, in the left side, you can see the option to clone. Click on the clone. You can either copy this URL and paste it into the Visual Studio code, or you have the option to select the ID where you want to open this source code. So if you expand this, you can see all the supported IDs like VS Code, Visual Studio, IntelliJ, or Eclipse. So in this demo, we are going to use the VS Code. So let's copy this uh, URL and paste it into the repo. So and select the this, uh, folder where you want to keep the uh, repository. So I'm going to select in the source and repo and select this as the destination repository. And if you see it is prompting to sign into the account. So I'm going to sign into my Azure DevOps. And if I open, the file has been successfully downloaded into my local machine. And if you see uh, right now, in, I am in the main branch and no other branch has been created. So there is another branch. So if you see there is a feature V3 branch, I'm going to create a new branch. So if you see this, these are all the branch in the remote repository. So I'm going to create a new branch. Let's name it as feature. Let's name it as FV3.
So I'm here in the FV3. So if I go into the file, so the file right now, the version is 2.0. And if you see here, Git is a distributed version controlling tool. So this branch is not yet push into the remote repo. So it is right now in your local machine. So if I go into the uh, marketing repository and click on the branches. So right now it's have a feature V3 and a main branch and uh, the one which we recently created as FV3 is not been pushed. Now let's go into the Git icon and publish this branch. So, all right, so now if you go into our Azure DevOps repo, and if you refresh, you can able to see the newly created branch. Now let's go into the file A and let's modify the version 2.0 to 3.0. Let's save this. And you can see one file has been recently modified in the source code icon. And if you double click on the file, you can able to compare the changes. And I'm just going to provide a commit command. So I'm just going to say it as update v2.0 to 3.0. So, and you can have an option to commit, commit and push and commit and sync. So the commit is going to commit these changes into your local um, machine, into your local repository. And commit and push is going to commit the changes into your local repo and push the changes into the remote repo. Whereas commit and sync is going to sync the changes from the remote repo. So it's always a best practice to before making any changes, just pull the request from the remote repo. So whatever the co-workers who are been uh, working into the branch, you will be getting the latest changes into your local repo. So now for this case, I'm just going to commit and push these changes into the remote repo. So the commit has been successful. Now let's go into our repository and select the newly created branch FV3. And if you open the file A, you can see the version has been updated to 3.0. So that's all about this uh, session. We will be seeing uh, in the upcoming video, we can able to discuss more about the pipeline and other features of the Azure DevOps. Thanks for watching.